the news. Good evening. The Ministry of Finance has presented its proposition of new conditions for the FA4GR program for next year. The State Secretary, uh, Patrick uh, Payet, presented the proposition to the private sector this morning. He said that with these new conditions, the government will spend only 772.8 million rupees for the whole year of 2021. During his presentation this morning, State Secretary Patrick Payet said that the government will not be able to continue to sustain the FA4JR program as it is now. He said that it will cost 1.5 billion rupees for the whole year of 2021 if the government follows the initial formula for the program. SS Payet said that uh, with the new proposal aiming to phase out this financial assistance, the government will only have to spend 772.8 million rupees for the whole of next year. As part of the proposal, an affirmative list will identify businesses who will be assisted as well as how much they will be assisted. Businesses will be getting money in January and February, but starting from March, the financial assistance will be reduced and will even be cut for some. The FA4JR program offered financial assistance to self-employed people and business owners for them to be able to pay their workers' salary. Since April up until this month, the program has paid around 1.2 billion rupees in terms of assistance. The government has plans to put in place a new business tax regime in 2021. This will have more businesses contributing to the country's income after only 30 companies paid 80% of business taxes in 2017. Earlier this year, the government found out that many businesses were under-declaring their profits. They found this out when the businesses were applying for financial help during the COVID-19. As such, there will be a more equal system for the paying of taxes. The ministry responsible for finance is having a series of consultative meetings around the country so that stakeholders may have an input before the regime is finalized. The Office of the President has announced that, that the President and Vice President will both voluntarily uh, forego their end-of-year gratuity. This is in solidarity with the workers of Seychelles who will not be paid their 13th month pay and the constitutional appointees who will not be eligible for their end-of-year gratuity following the enactment of the suspension of the 13th month pay and end-of-year gratuity act 2020. The non-payment of the end-of-year gratuity will legally apply only to the vice president the ministers and the members of the National Assembly, including the Speaker, the Deputy Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition and the Leader of Government Business. The bill to amend the Act was passed by the National Assembly last week and was assented by the President on Friday the 11th. The Act will soon be published in the Gazette. President Wevel Ramkalawan has conveyed his appreciation for the continuous support provided by the UAE government, particularly in the field of health and in combating the COVID-19 pandemic, namely through the recent donation of 50,000 doses of the vaccine against the COVID virus for the people of Seychelles. President Ramkalawan met with Crown Prince uh, of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, during his working visit to the UAE to further discuss ways to strengthen bilateral cooperation between the two nations. President Jerem Kalawan also met with the former President James Michel and he will be meeting Seychelles nationals currently working in the UAE as well as other members of the Seychelles community uh, living there. The President is scheduled to meet with the President of AMSA Renal Care, the main organization that provides uh, dialysis treatment to the Victoria Hospital in order to discuss uh, the existing uh, contract. Uh, President from Kalawan, accompanied by the Minister for Foreign Affairs, uh, Silva Sadogon, will also visit the Seychelles Embassy. 
British Airways landed again in Seychelles with some 171 visitors disembarking from the London outbound outbound flight on Sunday. The airline, which left this morning, is resuming its weekly flight to Seychelles, providing the per perfect opportunity for British visitors to escape winter. This month, Kenya Airways, Qatar Airlines and Air Austral will also be resuming the air operation. In its last sitting for the year, the National Youth Assembly, the SNYA, has approved two motions. The first motion is asking the Department of Culture to re consider reopening the National Library. The motion also highlights the need for a more comfortable study area to be created in the National Library for students uh, to undertake their research. The second motion is advocating for more support to be given to the youth suffering from uh, mental illness. The Speaker of the SNYA, Darius Petros, says that he is satisfied with the work accomplished by the young parliamentarians despite delays caused by COVID-19 in the implementation of their activities. And with this, we end this news summary. Thank you for watching. Have a very pleasant evening.